It's Sweetie C, yo, it's Sweetie C, and I'm here with another video. Hey, y'all, what's up? I like to, first of all, I like to say thank you to all my new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like, and share this video. Yes, y'all, there's this situation has been in the news. Like, now since I have the full story of what happened, I'm ready to give my opinion. All right, so. I want to talk about this Colin Kaepernick, Jay-Z, and NFL situation. And before I get into my opinion, I want to go ahead and drop this video. This I did a, a screen record of Roland Martin's breakdown regarding this situation, and he did an excellent job. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't always agree with Roland Martin. Wow. And y'all may not always agree with me. But we do have a right to our opinion. Now, in this situation, majority of what he says, I agree with him. Let me just go ahead and explain why I didn't want to just rush to judgment. First of all, when you're dealing with a racist industry and you know they're known for lying, then sometimes you may just need to step back. And honestly, this whole situation needs to be an example to the black community. This should be an awakening on how to handle contracts with an individual who is more powerful than you. You know what I'm saying? Um, Colin Kaepernick is blessed to be in a position that he is where he is still able to um, position himself in a way that makes sense. And that's what I like. A person who knows how to position themselves in a way that makes sense. And it's not just a way that makes sense for him. He did it in a way that makes sense for all of us. All right, y'all. So before I go ahead and say my opinion, the reason I do enjoy watching Roland Martin, and I know this is not about him, but I do enjoy watching Roland Martin because I do like the fact that he has other people on his, on his show to provide their opinions, even if they don't necessarily agree with him. And that's the type of platform that I want my I want for myself. I will give my opinion. You may not agree with me, but that's why we have comments. Leave your comment below and share with me why you disagree. And that may help me to see it in a different light. You know what I'm saying? It's all about our opinions, y'all. We all have them, okay? It's, it's not written in stone. But at the end of the day, um, yeah, I definitely agree with Roland Martin. So let's get into this video. And when I saw my man Stephen A. commentary, uh, Avis on Saturday, I said, I'm going to hold my tongue until Monday. For me, when I offer my perspective, I am doing so based upon a set of facts. Mm -hmm. And the reality here is now we see, 48 hours later, what the NFL's real intent was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, is, th this is just very basic in terms of how I look at this. So if I settle on... In February, March, I hear nothing. April, I hear nothing. May, June, July, August, September, October. Then all of a sudden in November, my phone rings. Mm -hmm. Workout, Atlanta, 3 p.m., Saturday, only day. My first instinct is, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why am I all of a sudden getting a phone call? I've heard nothing from you for nine months about a workout. Mm -hmm. I've played in the NFL. His agent knows the system. Mm -hmm. They know that workouts normally are held by teams on Tuesday or Wednesday. They know that Saturday is the second busiest day for all teams mm -hmm. because it's either a travel day for road teams or you're moving, going into the hotel for a home team, because mm -hmm. you're getting ready for the Sunday games. Then, once you say, hey, this is a workout, I ask the question, okay, who's gonna be there? NFL says, we're not telling you. <laughs> I'm sorry, so the Kaepernick people put a statement out saying, we look forward to the general managers and the head coaches being there, knowing full well that's who determines who gets signed. Mm -hmm. And then, we know the GM and the head coaches are not going to be there because they're getting ready for the game on Sunday. Right. So now I'm like, okay, I don't understand what's going on. Then it's, well, who am I throwing to? I don't know the receivers. <laughs> Who's leading the workout? 
I don't know who that is. And so once you start going into this and keep asking questions, then it's like, okay, now I'm confused. The Falcons work out. Okay, you want to have the Falcons facility, which is six, which is an uh, hour away from the airport. Okay, got it. It's an NFL facility. It's closed. But then who's going to be there? Then all of a sudden they say, oh, 25 of the 32 teams are going to have representatives there. Well, who the hell's representative? Mm-hmm. I mean, if I go to a job interview, and you tell me, uh, Roland, what you're coming for an interview? Who am I talking to? Mm-hmm. Am I talking to the person in HR, or am I talking to the president of the network? Right. There you go. The HR person, I know, ain't hiring. Right. It's the president of the network. Right. Yeah. So I want to know those things. So you go through all of that. Then you get to Saturday, and they still want you to sign the waiver, and then you don't, and then the narrative is. He walked out. Right. He canceled the workout. That was the plan from the beginning. This whole thing was a setup. What's up? Sweetie C is here. So we just finished hearing Roland Martin's breakdown of what's going on between NFL, Jay-Z, and Colin Kaepernick. Um, In my opinion, child, it's a mess. I'm from Texas, okay? So I, I take the social injustice aspect seriously we we have a lot of issues going on in texas we ain't got no time for no games no time for no games boo boo no times at all so we need individuals who are really really able to and willing to invest their time and their money in fighting for social injustice because your girl ain't got the coins to be doing all that okay i don't got the coins but what i will do is support those who are doing it and who are doing it in a manner that makes sense and right now Unfortunately, I don't see Jay-Z doing it in a manner that makes sense to me. I don't. Um, I don't like the fact that you you drew a line between you and Colin Kaepernick. You know what I'm saying? And this and the social justice issue doesn't have anything to do with Jay-Z's talent. It doesn't have anything to do with who he's married to. It doesn't have anything to do with his family. All that stuff, you know, you cool on that. I ain't got no issues over there. But when it comes to social injustice and for individuals who are actually doing the work and you're trying to reduce the value of someone else for some paper, for some money, you made it. I ain't fighting for you, Jay-Z. You made it. Look, this is the thing. Okay, so people say, well, Colin Kaepernick took a settlement. Yes, he took a settlement, but he's also still working for towards social injustice. And he was doing it before he took the settlement. And then he aligned himself with Nike, who is accepting him, who accepted him, even though he supports social injustice. You see what I'm saying? Like everyone, no one's he's not fighting with Nike. He's not fighting with nobody in his in his in, in his group. He's not fighting with none of them. And he's not even fighting with Jay-Z. This is all Jay-Z. Like, literally all Jay-Z. Jay-Z, you aligned yourself with the person who's supporting Trump. Like, literally, didn't I not just see you a few years ago in the White House with Obama? And wasn't your wife singing there, too? Like, you were literally in the White House with Obama, and now you aligned yourself with, with Trump's goons? who are clearly not supporting any type of social injustice for us. This is real out here, JC. This ain't no game. No, man. You 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 want some other mess. I ain't I don't I ain't, I ain't down with that. I ain't down with that. Shoot. I ain't down with that. I'm cool with your girl. I love some Beyoncé. That's that. I love some Beyoncé and I I love your family. I love y'all as a family as a whole, but when it comes to the social injustice, this is a real thing out here in these streets and I don't I ain't got time to be playing with no games. I ain't got time to be be aligning myself or even supporting somebody who's playing games in this arena. So if you're going to support people, support people who are actually doing something. You're not going to support them. Just be quiet, (laughs) y'all. Just be quiet. So with that being said, make sure you um, look in the description and watch Roland Martin's full video because it's good, y'all. It's good. Now, I do have two videos on my channel. They're called Black and White Allies. See, what we're doing wrong in the black community is we align aligning ourselves with racist white people. You're like, all white people racist. Uh, there's different levels to the racism, okay? We need to align our we need to start supporting those white people who are actually taking the time to 
educate themselves on what's going on with us. But I really appreciate what he had to say. So make sure you click on his link as well and go to his video and like his video. Now I'm talking like I got a thousand subscribers, but I'm I'm putting it into existence. I will have a thousand subscribers that will at least show love to Dell Hansen and Roland Martin. And why you had to go ahead and show love to me too. So without further ado, let's um let me play this video and then I'll be back with my commentary. Former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick is holding a private workout in Atlanta Saturday, still trying to get back in the NFL. Kaepernick hasn't played in three years for one reason and one reason only. He took a knee during the national anthem to protest how minorities and people of color are treated in this country. And for that, he gets banned from playing football. If only he had just beaten up a woman, did some illegal drugs, lied to police to cover up a murder, drove drunk and killed somebody. If he had just done some of that stuff, he'd still be playing. But he took a knee during the anthem to protest racial injustice in America, and we just can't have that in America's favorite game. I respect anyone willing to pay the price for what they believe, like Muhammad Ali in the 60s. If he had joined the army, he would have never seen Vietnam unless he was on a USO tour. But he was willing to pay. You can disagree with how they choose to protest, but how could you not respect the price they're willing to pay for what they believe? Colin Kaepernick could play on my team any day. I'm Dale Hansen. Enjoy your day. All right, so you just finished hearing what Dell Hansen had to say. So thank you, Dell Hansen, for that. I really appreciate it. He made some valid points. The dude didn't rate nobody. He wasn't caught in no scandal. He wasn't doing anything to anybody. He was just minding his own business, kneeling. With that being said, the best way to end this video is to let my homegirl have the last word. So again, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and share this video. Yes. And it's Sweetie C. You're Sweetie C. Now what? Talk to you later. I can't see. Okay.